Windows 10 has been one of the go-to operating systems for nearly a decade, but the end is near. By now, I'm sure you've heard Microsoft officially end support for Windows 10 on October 14th, 2025. No more updates, no more patches, no more security fixes. Today, we'll look at a few of the must-do tasks before October if you plan to ride Windows 10 into the sunset of the wild, wild west. So let's get to it. Windows 10 end of life doesn't mean your computer will explode or immediately stop working in October, but it does mean it'll be open season for potential security risks and support issues in the near future. Without updates, your OS becomes a sitting duck for malware, ransomware, and all kinds of weird stuff. From the support and repair side of Windows 10, Microsoft will eventually remove easy access to download the Windows 10 installer from their official site. They've already removed the direct Windows 10 ISO download option. So this may make supporting and repairing your Windows 10 PC yourself a bit tricky should issues arise in the future. Traditionally, after a Windows OS end of life, Microsoft removes the download page from their site. So today, we'll build a Windows 10 installer, USB for safe keeping. Keeping a copy of the Windows 10 ISO file is not a bad idea either. First, let's go create that Windows 10 bootable USB using the Windows Media Creation Tool. To do this, plug in a spare 8 gigabyte or larger USB flash drive and head over to the official Windows 10 download page. Scroll down to Create Windows 10 Installation Media and click Download Now. Once downloaded, launch the tool. Click Accept to agree to the terms and conditions. Now select Create Installation Media and click Next. You can change your language and version settings here if desired and click Next. For this video, we'll select USB flash drive and click Next. Click Next to start the installer creation. Once it's complete, click Finish. Now, your Windows 10 bootable USB is ready for future reinstalls. OS repairs, or whatever other issues that pop up. Keep this in a safe place. Next, let's dig into the security side of your Windows 10 PC. If you're using Windows Defender as your security protection, luckily Microsoft should continue to push these definition updates out for a while, but you'll want to supplement that with a trusty malware protection software and tweak some of your security settings just a bit. First, let's tweak a few Windows Defender settings if you haven't already. On your taskbar, search security, and click Windows Security. Now click on Virus and Threat Protection, and then Manage Settings. Scroll down and make sure Tamper Protection is toggled on. This will help with outside programs turning off Windows Defender. Next, go back and now click on Manage Ransomware. Here we'll want to turn on Controlled Folder Access. This helps protect important user folders from unauthorized access and changes by potential malware. Your system folders are protected by default, but you can add other folders should you desire. Next, I'd highly recommend installing Malwarebytes Premium to beef up the malware protection on your PC. The free version is fine for manual scanning and cleanups, but the premium version has some great features and automation. To install Malwarebytes, go snag the installer from the link in our video description, walk through the easy install process, and just let Malwarebytes get to work. Another critical process to make sure you're doing often with your Windows 10 PC is to make regular system backups to an external drive. Actually, you need to be doing this regardless of the operating system you're on. A few good ways to go about making these system backups would be to use either the built-in Windows backup utility, which is okay, not great, but okay. Or you can use a third-party backup software like Aomi Backupper, or Mini Tools Shadow Maker to back up to an external hard drive. I'll have a link for both of these recommended softwares in the video description as well. A cloud-based backup service for your data is another great option. I recommend Backblaze or iDrive Cloud Backup to safely keep data copies off-site. Backing up your system often not only keeps your data safe, but it comes in handy should you have a Windows OS issue in the future. Restoring from a system backup is generally fast and straightforward. So, just to recap what you'll want to do to keep using Windows 10 past the end of life date. 
One, make sure to create your bootable, Windows 10 recovery USB and keep it safe. Two, tweak your security settings and install premium malware protection software. And three, be sure to maintain up-to-date system backups. Please don't wait for your Windows 10 PC to have issues before you apply these steps. Again, having this Windows 10 USB will be super useful when it comes to repairing or reinstalling your OS when you need to. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. I hope you enjoyed this video on preparing for Windows 10 end of life and that you found it useful. If so, please consider sharing with a friend, giving it a thumbs up, and subscribing to the channel for more Windows tips. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.